You know, kiddies, after a night of slithering through the sickening slime of my crawly crypt, I take a tip from the Marquis de Sade. He likes to unwind with a little red-hot poker. <laughs> Tonight's tale from my collection of terror tomes is about a couple of real sharpies who'll do anything for a stab at the jackpot. So, ante up, fellas. The game's about to begin. Hey, it's Reno Crevice. Haven't seen you in a long time. Welcome back, Reno. Well, yeah, hey, babe. I've been a year in Vegas. You still got that no-limit table in the back? Anybody there now? Only Mr. Forney. You know him, don't you? I don't need no intro to Sam Forney. Free drink. Have a good time? Sure, thanks. Give me a whiskey shooter, will you? This looks just about the same as ever. Well, nothing much changes. When were you here last? About a year ago. Well, the guy you gotta watch out for here is Sam Forney. He's one big time player, let me tell you. He ain't nothing but a two-bit hustler. I beat him lots of times in Vegas. Reno Crevice, right? You called it, Pardo. Half a grand howdy. I thought it was you. Listen, I heard a story, and I was, I was wondering if it was true. I heard that you won $50,000 off some South American dictator in one card game. One hand. High rollers, huh? Yeah. Must be some kind of life for guys like you and Sam Forney. Yeah, fast lane. Real great. Well, it's nice meeting you, Reno. Nice talking to you. <laughs> Good luck tonight. I used to have a regular game back here with Gibbons and Norris and a bunch of the boys. They don't come around here anymore. And I cleaned them all out. I guess they weren't used to my kind of competition. You trying to tell me something, Sam? Yeah, I am, Reno. I'm just reminding you. I'm the best. I wouldn't want you to forget that. You better see a doctor. Because your brain has gone to shit. I guess you're just remembering the 10,000 bucks I took off you last time we met. Of course, I was still driving around that caddy that I won off you. Now, wasn't I? Always wondered how you explained that one to your wife. But she already run off with that piano player. 
How about I just leap over this table and wipe that smile off your face? I got a tip for you, Reno. <laughs> you take on everybody that laughs at you, you're gonna have a lifetime of work. Nobody laughs at me. Sure they do. They all laugh at you. They laugh at your wife, they laugh at your clothes, they laugh at this dumb redneck cowboy way you got it talking and thinking. You're working me, Forney. You're working me. Yeah, I'm working you. No doubt about it. I love watching you itch. <laughs> heard you went bust in Vegas. You heard wrong. Really? Well, a lot of people told me about it. Deal. Only one problem. You're broke. I got a hundred bucks in my pocket. I ain't asking you to stay. Hundred bucks don't mean nothing to me. But there is one thing that I want, and I want it real bad. I want you out of my life for good. I really don't like you, Reno. You show up and right away things just go to shit. Five or six times you and I hooked up and somebody always gets burned in the end, so I'm willing to play. See who leaves, clears out of town, out of state for good, okay? We got a deal. You're on. I prefer the roll of dice. The loser hightails it out of town. Shake him out. Boxcars. Too bad, Sam. I guess you're gonna have to gas up your wagon. Son of a bitch, I got a better way of settling this shit. You want to fuck with me? You want to duel? All right, let's do it. Russian roulette. You mean just you, me, and a gun? That's exactly what I mean. You're nuts. You know the difference between you and me? You got no character. I got a 44 out in the glove compartment of my car. Let's go, let's do it, no backing up. Yeah, let's do it, Reno. Right out here in front of God and everybody. If you like, I'll go first. That's all right with me, Sam. It's your gun, so long as you don't mind. I'll be the one that spins the chamber. There you go. Right there, buddy. That's the big one. Five to one odds, Sam. Your turn. You getting nervous, Reno? Fuck that, I'll take a four to one shot. You distract me, I can't think. You don't have to think, just do it. Of course you're gonna think. Thinking's the fun part of it. Thinking about it, thinking about what's gonna happen. Listen to that little wheel of fortune click and turn into place when you ease back the hammer. Feeling that metal get warm against your skin. Wondering what it's gonna be like to feel your brains blown out through the side of your head. Wondering what comes after, if anything, or black. Wondering if you're gonna scream. What do you think, Sam? You gonna scream? Yeah, you will. You want to call it quits? Pack your bags. Get out of town. Don't bother writing me any bomb boy eyes cards. 
That's a 50-50 bet, Sam. Hey, you want me to leave the keys in it? Park it yourself, asshole. Who do you call an asshole? You heard my friend get the hell out of here. Hey, take it easy, no problem! <laughs> Crazy fucking lunatic! <laughs> it's your move, unless you want to give it up. feel sorry for you. Now, let's talk about odds. Because you are a man who believes in the odds, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I just beat a one-to-one -one bet. <laughs> Even money. Hey, that's, that's real lucky. I mean, wouldn't you say? I, I would say so now. You know, Reno? It's a shame that you are such a strong believer in odds. You want to know why? Huh? You want to know why? Because <laughs> you haven't got any. They've all run out. <laughs> Now, would you just shut the fuck up? You're distracting me. But I ain't gonna tell you again. I gotta concentrate. I want you to mark these words down well in your mind, because these are my last ones. I don't want anybody to say that Reno Krebis didn't have the balls to do it. I want him to say that he went out strong. God. A dud? What happened? You put a ringer in. You planned the whole thing. That's why you wanted to go first. You thought I'd crawl? You set the chamber. You gave it a spin. How was I to know it would come up last? That ammo, two or three years old. Maybe it got wet. God, you can't talk your way out of this fucking thing. No matter when it came up, you knew you had a fucking safe thing going. God damn. I should have known this thing wasn't going to be on the up and up. You're accusing me of cheating. You're goddamn right I am. It's a good thing I'm an honest gambler, otherwise oh, yeah. I would have never known. All right, all right, hot shot. Let's do what we do best. All right. You name the game. Chop poker. How you feeling, you know? I feel fine, Sam. Cut him. Five card draw. Fine by me. No chips, no pot. Just play the hand and see where it falls. No problem after that little rush roulette number. I'm the hot one now. I've always been a lucky kind of guy. You're in a lot of trouble, Reno. Three. Yeah, I'm in a lot of kind of trouble. I'll take three. Don't mind if I do.
You still feeling okay, Reno? Don't mess with me, Sam. What do you got? Two pair. Three ladies. I feel great. I'm sorry it took so long to answer the question. Which finger? Only one. You won't be doing fancy work like this anymore. Just shut your mouth and let the man be you. Cards. I think three. One. What, another lousy two pair? Or a flush. as a souvenir to show my buddies. Come on, come on, deal them good this time. Watch me. I want you getting the blood on those cards. You getting squeamish, Reno? No, I don't want any spots on the back. I know how you are about marked cards. Just shut up and play. I can't even stand the sound of your voice anymore. One card. I'll take three. What do you got? A pair of tans. A pair of jacks. Shit! I knew I should have gone for that fucking flush. I'll make a deal with you, Sam. I'll give you back one of your goddamn fingers. I'll get the doc here to sew it on. No way. I'm on the roll now. You're gonna be changing your rodeo gloves for a pair of knit mittens, cowboy. No, no, wait a second, easy. Jeez, aim that goddamn thing straight. Oh, don't worry. It don't hurt that bad. Will you get off the pot and do something? You want me to make a move? All right. I'll make a move. Uh, uh. King me! <laughs> you just left me a triple jump. You gotta be as dumb as you are not to have seen that. Why don't you give it up? I told you, I've always been a lucky kind of guy. Pass a gun. of giving someone the finger. But this is ridiculous. But at the risk of going out on a limb, I got to hand it to Krebus and Forney. They'd do anything to elbow their way to the top. Do -do -do -do. 